Jennifer Howard. And I'm Evan Marino. And, and this, this is WS45Y Newscasting Station. There has been a recent outbreak of creatures roaming the streets. We've sent reporters out to the places that they've been sighted. Our first reporter is Elise Kern down in Middle Beach, South Carolina. Over to Elise. Thanks, Spencer and Ever. My name is Elise Kern, reporting live from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I just witnessed a half dragon, half bunny saving a poor little puppy. The puppy was floating on its surfboard when the tide pulled him way out to the deep. Now, here's a flashback for the scene that just happened. Looked like the creature was saying, saving the puppy. Now I have a lady named Carly French, the owner of the puppy. She will tell us about what she saw. Carly? Thanks, Elise. Today I took my puppy cutie to Surfside Beach, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. While I was on my beach chair, I heard a loud whoop. It was cutie. She was floating away on her surfboard out into the ocean. I ran right into the ocean, but as soon as I got there, a bunny dragon creature scooped up Cutie and brought her back to my beach blanket. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Carly. You're welcome. <laughs> back to Spencer and Ever. Very interesting. Thanks for telling us what you've seen, Elise. That creature sure is a lifesaver. Next, we have Preston and Cal over at a Walmart. This creature isn't so nice. On to Preston. Hi, this is Preston Minotaur reporting live from Walmart on the corner of Huffman Street. Recently, there has been an attack from a creature named Beast Mode. This creature supposedly is all black, has two dock heads, and there are spikes all over its tail. As you can see, the creature has done so much damage around here. Over to Cal. Okay, from this view, you can see all the destruction. I've heard this creature's nickname is Black Shadow because he's slick and hard to spot. Oh, and he eats a lot of nachos. Back up to Ever and Spencer. Thanks, Cal and Preston, for that report. Next, we have Mason and Henry reporting with two witnesses. This creature was spotted at New York. Hi, I'm Mason, and it was a very devastating scene here in New York. There's a creature roaming around the streets searching for meat, and it lived in South Carolina, and it came here to New York. Now we're going to go to two people who saw the whole scene. And here. Here is Dougie Spoots the Magician. Hello! Wow, that was a nice trick. You were going to get that a lot. I was in my Mercedes and I saw this creature. I thought to myself, is this real? Is it the end of the world? But I was like, nah. And then it flew right by me. It was so close, I almost touched it. Then when I got home, I turned on the TV and there was the creature flying around in New York City. And now here's the other witness, Finneson, the pro skier. It's an honor. I know. I was driving my sick green Mustang when I saw that there was a humongous creature just coming at me. Suddenly, I didn't care about my sick green Mustang anymore. I ran as fast as I could. Then, then I ran into a truck and broke my leg and my Achilles. Ugh. And there goes Finneson. Please tell us that we aren't imagining things, and if you see him, here's a picture of him. I want my revenge. I'll pull his Achilles. He messed with the wrong son. I want to see him and punch him right in the snage. information that there's another creature attack. We cannot keep up with all these creature reporting. We sent a reporter down right now. Her name's Mary. She is reporting from Wildwood, New Jersey. I'm Mary Barton reporting here live from Wildwood Beach. I have just experienced something outstanding. A crazy creature had just appeared at the beach. We have two witnesses here to tell you more about this kooky mermaid creature thing. My first witness is Cupcake Smith. Do you have anything to tell us about the creature? I think it's a mermaid! She's so fresh. Anything else? No. 
My next guest's name is, is Cassie Martin. Hi, I'm so honored to be here today. Okay, anyway, what did you see? Well, I was swimming and this woman came up to me and then swam away. As she swam away, this red thing was coming off her. She had a really pretty bathing suit, though. Interesting. Yeah, it was, but there's more. Then she got out of the water and started tanning in front of everyone. It was crazy. That is crazy. And then she started playing volleyball. Well, thanks for coming. No problem. Thank you. Bear Bear, on the beach. We're not crazy, right? If you see her, report her to the Wildwood Beach authorities. Man, I'd love to be where you guys are reporting from the weather we've been having here. It looks like you guys are having so much fun. Next, we have Kyrie reporting from a park. Which says she has a witness? On Kyrie. Thank you, Spencer and Everett. This is Kyrie Blitzo, and an unknown creature has come out of its cave for its first time. To know more about this event, we have a witness, Caroline Filosa. <clears throat> I'm so honored to be here. Oh my goodness gracious, I was just taking a lovely walk outside to get some fresh air, and I saw a huge fight with a little cute creature stuck in the middle. I wanted to save that cute creature, but it was too high up in the sky. Oh, that rhymes. Cave. Oh no, it's lost. The creature has come toward us. Hi. hi. What is your name? Niffy. Oh, hi, Niffy. Well, I think we shouldn't be saying hi. I think we should be saying bye. It's time to go. Bye. Thank you. The creature has found its way back to its cave. Oh, how cute. It's harmless. But is the creature really harmless? We've got another reporter tracking down yet another creature. We've got Natasha on the scene at Settler's Woods. Thanks, Spencer and Ever. Hello, I'm Betsy Mill and I'm at Settler's Woods with breaking news. An unknown creature is found talking to a fairy. Here's Cookie to tell us more. It's me, Emma Dolly Dolly Doo. Hi, I'm Cookie. It's nice to be here, but one question, where is here? Okay, Cookie, just tell us what you saw and heard. Well, I was playing with my dolly in the woods when I heard a noise in the bushes. It was a two-headed creature talking to a fairy. Then the fairy started to fly away, but the creature tried to, and she couldn't. Well, what did the creature look like? She was part dog, part pony, and part snake. She was light blue and purple with sparkles. Her heads were her tail, her heads were on her tails, and yeah. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a crazy creature. Should we be worried? Call 1-800-222-6666 if you see this creature. Thanks for joining in. Come back next time for more crazy stories. Back to Spencer and Ever. Bye! Before I go back to Spencer and Ever, a viewer just sent in a photo. Cookies, this is what it looks like? Yeah, her name's Luna! Make sure to call the newscast station for more information. Thanks, Natasha. Now we move to a much hotter place. Somewhere deep in the world. On the bow in the underworld. Hello, this is Val Soltis, reporting from Beyond the World. For about an hour, everyone in the overworld has been feeling earthquakes all over and nobody knew where it was coming from until a construction worker working in the underworld called up and told us why the earth was quaking and here's the guy who saw it happen. Thanks Val. So about an hour ago I was working and then there was this quaking and I turned around and there was the guard of the underworld. Rob Gronkowski, who was tackling a creature and was tra that was trying to get inside the gates. It, er it carried on until about 10 minutes ago, when finally Rob Gronkowski tackled the creature and it hurt him so bad that it scared him away. Thank you so much for that knowledge, Colin. No problem, Val. It was an honor to be here. Okay, back to you, Spencer. That was an interesting location. Let's hope that creature stays where it is. Off to a much happier place, Splash Adventure with Sam and Haley. Thank you, Spencer and Everett. Hello, I'm Sam. And I'm Haley. And we're here with another, another creature, creature sighting. sighting. The sighting was in an Alabama water park called Splash Adventure. We were an eyewitness here, Abby. 
Hi, I'm Abby, and I was at Splash Adventure when suddenly I saw an unusual creature creeping up behind me. I looked over my shoulder and screamed and grabbed my one-year-old daughter Lizzie and ran as fast as I could. Oh my, that sounds horrible. Are you and your daughter okay? Yes, I'm okay, just a little scraped up. I actually have my daughter here. Oh, can we see her? Sure. Here she is. Aww. Aww. She looks just like you. Thanks. What did this strange creature look like? It had a fawn head and a snake head, a rectangular body, cat feet, and has one devil wing and one angel wing. Did you manage to take any photos? Actually, yes. Once I left Splash Adventure, I got out my phone, snapped some pics, and then ran to my car and drove away. How do you think the creature got the water park? It came in mad. I'm not quite sure, but I think it was trying to eat a butterfly. A butterfly? Yes, it was a butterfly. I caught it in a picture I took. My daughter was crying for an hour and she won't sleep at night. Well, that's bad. Yes. Well, I'm sorry, but that's all the time I have for you. Thanks for coming. It's fun having you. Thank you for having me. It was fun being here. Bye. 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 Glad you're all safe. Thanks for the good description. I hope that creature stays calm. Butterflies better beware. We move to a much cooler place for our next adventure. News reporter Veronica is posting live from Antarctica. Veronica? Hello, I'm news reporter Veronica, and today we are here to investigate on a weird creature. Now we are going to talk to a witness. Her name is Miss Oprah. I'm going to talk to Miss Oprah, so follow me. Hello, I'm Miss Oprah. Hi, Miss Oprah. I was wondering, was the creature scary to you? Um, at first a little bit, but not so much anymore. Okay, I was also wondering if it saw you at all, or you made eye contact with it. Um, yes, I was in shock, and I started staring at the creatures. So, I started staring at the creature to see what it might be. Okay, so let's get on to your story now. Okay, then. Today I went on a nice walk like I do on my nice cool walk. Then the next thing I knew I was a... I found a fusion creature. They were shooting fire and ice at each other. I almost got burned. Good thing I live in ch 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 Chile, Antarctica. They do say it's the coolest. Thanks for coming. Bye. Since we are on the topic, records also say this mystical creature has been fighting about who's leader of the land. We also found out the penguin part is named Killer Whale and the dragon part is named Dragon Breath. We also know that it has been fused together for over a thousand years. Killer Whale is currently leader. Killer Whale is also king of the sea creatures. That's all. That's the story of Miss Opa. This News reporter Veronica signing off. It must be cold where you are. I'll stop complaining about our weather. Next we have Charlie and Jeff. They're reporting from Wegmans. I'm you. Thanks, Thanks Spencer Never. Never. I'm Charlie B. And I'm Jeff Chammy. And a creature has gone out of a cave deep within the mountains. This creature is a devil angel. Part devil and part angel. The devil part is broken into Wegmans with its ferocious tail. The cashier is here to talk with us. I was doing my job until a devil-looking thing broke in and ate all the meat. How did you feel? I was completely terrified. Thank you for telling your story. No problem. <laughs> we also have security footage. Well, that was one crazy creature. Hopefully he won't do anything else that could be bad. We have Susan at the candy jar. Susan. Thank you. I'm Susan. I'm outside the candy jar. And a few minutes ago, an angel-looking thing came and flew inside the candy jar. I have a witness here to tell us what he saw. I'm dead. I was going into the candy jar to get some candy for my kids. When an angel looking thing came in flying into the store, I was well, I was kind of frightened at first, but then I stayed calm and I had to walk home. Very interesting. Now we go back to Charlie and Jeff. We just got information that the devil has broken in a jewelry store and has taken a ring. 
Then suddenly a cloud of smoke appeared and it disappeared. We actually, we just got reports that the angel and the devil reattached. They have been sent back to the caves and hopefully won't bother us again. I think we found Ever's doppelganger. Next we have Eric, we're playing at McDonald's. On to Eric. Okay. Hello, this is Eric on the case of where this creature was last seen. This is McDonald's. Now we have an eyewitness that was in McDonald's at the time of the attack. I was just eating my chicken nuggets when a huge creature came in and stole 20 chicken nuggets and left without paying. Then he flew over to the football field. Now we have an eyewitness who was here at the football field when the creature came. I was just playing my football game, about to win the game with our halfback option, but then my friend Gary over here got picked up by the creature that came out of nowhere. He hasn't been the same since. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Gary. It's okay. Well, you heard it here first, folks. That's all for today, folks. Hopefully creatures don't disturb you in your sleep. Hopefully there won't be any more creature sightings. I'm Spencer. And I'm Eva. And this, and this is, is WS45 Newscasting Station signing off.